Hi and welcome to this tech video. It's straight from the workflow. We have a DC350 on the floor here with a number of modules on that I would like to talk a little bit about. It's a big line, so we'll take it from the end to the start. We're starting here at the end. This machine is equipped with a turret for fast roll change. It also has a large rewinder here, so you have the best of two worlds. You can run your large roll production or you can shift up here and run the small rolls in an efficient way. Another addition to this machine is a camera system. This camera system will tell you where the die cutter is cutting. That's important when you're running very high speed because you can't see your registration unless you have a camera option on. Then you have to slow down, check the register and accelerate. But with this camera, you can do adjustments at high speed. If we move a little bit further down, this machine also has a smart strip, chain, smart strip system or rock and roll strip, contact stripping. It has many names, but the idea of this system is that the web path for the matrix is very short. So you can run at high speed because there will not be a jam in the matrix. The machi machine can also be switched over and run in a conventional way. Then we have the die cutting cassette. On this machine, we have a plate loader. It's also a very nice feature that you don't have to place the plate manually, but you can actually place the die cutting plate on this magnet board, and then the machine will automatically load the plate in and it can also eject it. If we move a little bit further down the line, oops, then we have a um, system here for smart lamination. This is a lamination in register. That means that um, we can laminate two webs on top of each other. That is very good for peel and reveal labels. Then maybe we can get an overview shot here. We actually have two coding stations on this machine. So the machine can be equipped with two semi-rotary or three semi-rotary stations. Now I have set the machine up so we are simulating semi-rotary print on the first station. You can see the web moving back and forward and the idea is that you don't need to change the cliché. You have one cliché for all jobs, a one plate cylinder for all jobs. On the other station, we have a conventional full flood roller, roller. This could be a roller for putting down varnish on the entire surface, or it could also be a cliché running in full rotary mode. So in full rotary mode, you can run faster. In semi-rotary mode, you have more flexibility and you don't need to have the actual print cylinders on stock. Finally, on this line, we have a large unwind. There is an integrated lift, so the machine can lift the roll from the floor. There's web guidance and a Corona system. Thank you for watching this short intro to some of the DC350 modules. Please do remember to press the subscribe button if you want to see more videos.